Welcome back to Sheetwise. Are you struggling to keep track of your expenses? Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple but yet effective budget in Excel that's perfect for beginners. Let's get started. We will start to create our expense categories. Um, we start with rent. And uh, don't worry if your categories are different, customize them to fit your needs. Set up our months. In row one, starting from column B, uh, we type in the month January, yeah, and I think we use autofill for the months. Yeah, uh, you can also use uh, calendar weeks if you get your income weekly and have to pay your rent weekly. It's just an example. Now we enter a very important category, the income. And with a double click, we can change the size of the column. Now we format it, maybe grayish. And below the um, spend categories, we write total expenses and net savings. For this tutorial, I'll put in some example data. Under income, I would say uh, random between let's say 1,000 and 10,000. Yeah, okay, that's a good number. And I copy it and paste here the values. And then we take that as our monthly income. And I met a Paul and asked what currency I should use in my next video and the answer was Euro. So I will use that. For rent, in this example, I'll use something like um, 700, 10,000, for utilities, maybe 250, groceries, 250, transportation, 50, entertainment, or Netflix, or 10 euros. So now we format it, and, um, Euro, and copy it for the next three months. But uh, feel free to pause the video and add your own data, so uh, maybe you can uh, work with me together. Now let's use some basic formulas to calculate the totals. If you have any questions to the formulas, just um, look at the video I made a few weeks ago. We start with sum and use the autofill function to copy the formula through all the months. Net savings, income, minus expense and we drag this formula across all months as well. Now we add the full year and add a few sums too. It's pretty easy. Use this function, copy it down in all cells, right click and this is to only calculate the formulas. We use here this formats and use here the format painter just one click and you can create the format here in these cells so i think now we will fill the other expenses for the whole year and here's a random formula in it and i think i think this rent between for all cells like 200 250 rent um you can use the formula for groceries too and for and everything might be also the same so we use the formulas random between 200 250 and here the um, values and copy it through all months and you see here's here income full year income rent, the other expenses, your total expenses and net savings. And now we want to see in which month our uh, spends are too high, for example. So for rent, we can use a conditional formatting. You can um, see my video to that uh, topic. And uh, let's say highlight values greater than, let's say 800. And you can see these are the months with spends higher than 800 euro per uh, month for the rent. Groceries and uh, utilities, we could use the same conditional formatting and highlight greater than 250. Now we can make it a little bit uh, nicer and yeah, we use this format for total expenses and here the net savings. We could uh, make black with white uh, font, so it's very good to see. Um, now we want to see 
what we do with the money and we have a goal. We say goal 2024, we want 5,000 euro at the end of the year. We set our goal, but we have to make sure that we um, reach our goal on a monthly basis. So we uh, have to build in a check. I would say we make a conditional formatting on total expenses and use new rule, use formula. Yeah? And now we say, are the savings bigger than our goal? This is the goal per year, but for 12, because we want it on a monthly basis, we have to put it in brackets. And, and we have to delete the dollar symbol so we can um, copy the format through all the months. And now we go on font, color, deep green. Oh, not that green, green, so. Okay, okay. Oh, that's terrible. Um, so we go back in manage rules, click here. Um, on this and use the really dark uh, green. Okay, ah, and we can uh, read it, that's good. And copy it through all the months. And you see here are uh, the black ones. Ah, it's not nice. So yeah, I don't like it. We um, highlight the cells, go on conditional formatting, manage rules, click in it, and we change the logic. We say smaller smaller and say we use red i think that's clearer okay yeah okay okay these are the months where we don't have enough savings i think that's clearer finally let's add a simple chart to visualize our expenses select our expenses go on insert choose i would recommend column yeah, and we could put it below the starter. I think we copy the goal here on this side to make the chart even bigger. So, and as you can see, ah, you cannot see it that good. So I would change the axis, uh, format axis and say minimum 1000. Yeah. And now you can see very good where you have uh, high expenses and where it's all in line with our goal. This helps you uh, see trends in your spending too. And there you have it. You've just created your first basic, very basic budget in Excel. This simple tool can help you keep track of your finances and ensure you are staying within your budget each month. If you found this video helpful or if you hated it, just leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.